We'll switch now to 10 on your side's Raven Payne. Yeah, she has more on how Abby Zwerner's lawyers are responding to this report. What are they saying, Raven? Yes, well, Abby Zorner's attorneys say we have to think of the people in this case. Abby was shot and all of her students were traumatized. They tell us this report is just the beginning of Newport News citizens telling school leadership they must answer for this tragedy. When you see something, say something, you do something. That's what Abby Zorner's attorneys say Rich Neck administration didn't do on the day the teacher was shot. A special grand jury report released Tuesday supports that belief, listing many security and administrative missteps. That includes the school principal closing the door on Abby, who was passed out on the floor after being shot by her student. Zorner's attorney Kevin Beniazin reacts. I think we all expect our administrators, I think we all expect the people that are in charge and have leadership of these institutions are going to be the ones that step out front and not step behind a closed door. According to the grand jury, the former assistant principal, Dr. Ebony Parker, ignored multiple warnings that the student had a gun. Parker is now facing eight charges of child abuse, each count representing each of the eight bullets that endangered the students in Zorna's classroom. But Zorna's other attorney, Diane Toscano, says one part of this report stuck out as the most concerning. The report lays out a concerning trail of evidence that apparently shows efforts by the school division to downplay disciplinary records prior to the shooting even taking place and then hide them afterwards. She tells us Abby has read the report. It does take her back to that day and those events, um, but she is encouraged by the Commonwealth Attorney's Office and the special grand jury for doing this and pursuing what they can through the criminal justice system. And her attorneys also say they believe this criminal case against Parker will help with their civil case against the school board. And they also invite the U.S. and state departments of education to launch their own investigations into this situation. Live in Newport News, Raven Payne, till on your side. A lot more to come in this story. And of course, we're going to continue to keep you updated as things develop on wavy.com.